I do receive quite a number of inquiries via email <laughs> regarding um, budding and grafting of fruit trees. And one of the questions which quite frequently occurs is if budding is done, is it important that the bud is covered up or can you just tape over it? William is the expert, <laughs> he will explain it all. all right. Thank you. Um, years ago when we used to use raffia, uh, we used to leave and use the shield or, or tea cut budding, we used to leave the buds exposed. But now we do not. We use the chip budding method and clear tape and cover the bud completely up, cover it right in. Um, so I'll do one now. This is a variety called Santana. Just take that little shoot off there so I can get the bud on where I want it, about 10 inches from the ground. Santana is a nice late mid season variety, well coloured and one we call hypoallergenic which means if you are allergic to apples you can eat these day and night without coming to any harm at all. Very good keeper, very good cropper. Now cut about two thirds below the bud like that, that's the first cut. One third above the cut taking out a fair bit of wood. You don't want these fleet. I'll show the bud in a minute, in a second. It is that thick. That will grow. It looks quite thick, doesn't it? But that will grow. It's just what we want. The reason we leave a little bit of stalk on the sticker buds is you've got something to handle the bud with. It's a good thing not to put your fingers on the cut, so you leave the short stalk there to act as a little handle. Now we put the bud in. Yeah. That's that. And then I don't want to turn it. I can do it, and I will do it. But I don't want to touch the bud cut. There we are. And in she goes. In my prime, long while ago, 1800 to 2000 and the working day was easy as ABC. Now, I've left a fairly broad cut here, deliberately so you've got a window round the bud. This is where the callus will form, in there right round there and you'll see that forming through the tape in about 10 days time. About a foot of tape is sufficient. Round you go underneath firm. As the stock grows the tape will get tighter. That's right and then start coming up round round over the bud another two turns ought to do it now i'll try to show you the the tie off method leave yourself plenty of tape and it's that that make a loop two fingers round it goes keeping it tight up and through the bottom and tie off the same way as you were going. Like that. That's done. Now that bud will stay dormant till next spring. <coughs> March time. Then the top of the stock is taken off to just above the bud. To a sloping angle, something like that. So the rain will run off it. Extra precaution, you could put a bit of uh, drafting wax on the tape, on the cut, but that's commercially you can't do it. But in the garden or for experimental or just for if you're doing as a hobby and you want to be absolutely sure to give them every chance, it wouldn't hurt.
Just could you show us where you would cut the... Oh, cutting the tape. No, cutting the, 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 the wood off. Yes. In the spring, you come down to here, just above the bud. So you remove, actually, the bark, some of the bark above the bud. Two thirds of the bark below the bud, one third above the bud. About <laughs> less than an eighth of an inch above the bud, that will grow too. But that's where you'll cut it, just above the bud. You'll be removing part of its bark as well, but that's what you, if you cut too high, for appearance's sake, and for commercial perfection, someone is going to have to be paid to go through the nursery to take the top down to make it look neat and tidy. So you come as close as you possibly can. As soon as you put somebody in the nursery to do jobs like that, it costs money, which affects the price of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and the growers don't like that. Thank you very much Pleasure. for giving that demonstration. Thank you for watching.